Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it's 50 degrees, and I appreciate that, Pete. But uh, also looking at your Doppler radar, I can see that there is little, if any, area that isn't covered in green this morning. Almost this every- afternoon. Yeah, almost everything covered in green. A few pockets of clearing okay. here and there, Lily. So some signs of hope. But overall, it's a rainy day. It's not a nice day. And we verify that right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12. Notice the uh, darker shades of green indicating some light to even moderate rain falling. We saw some pretty heavy downpours pass through earlier. Now, we were talking about some of the uh, heavy rain clearing out. Notice a little clear pocket down towards Connecticut, and I'm not talking about clear in terms of sunshine, but just some relief from the heavy rain. This uh, clear pocket will move off to the north and east and may scrape into Rhode Island over the next few hours. So not everybody gets the heavy rain all afternoon long, but it will still be quite damp. And that's the story for today. Tomorrow will end much better than it starts and then drier but cool for the weekend. We'll talk about that weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. We have the raindrops on the camera lens. Temperature is uh, 52 degrees, so not that chilly out there. In fact, these temperatures will increase as we go into the overnight hours. Any chance we could get a wipe with the windshield wiper? Any chance? Every once in a while that works. Anyway, we will move on. Winds right now out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. There we go. You can see a much clearer view now in Providence. I love it when that works out. All right, satellite picture showing that big trail of moisture continues to pour in from the west, and the yellow represents some heavier rain, some pretty heavy downpours in Worcester County, Massachusetts earlier. Notice how far down this trail of moisture extends. You can see down into the mid-Atlantic. Another pulse of energy still to get through, so this will keep us under the threat of some heavy rain as we go into the midnight hour. In fact, we can go hour by hour with our future cast. Keep in mind, the green represents the chance of rain. The lighter to moderate rain, the yellow represents the downpours. And as of uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon, still the chance of some downpours, but watch what happens as we go into the 8 o'clock hour. The threat of downpours will go away. In fact, some of us may see a lull in the heavy rain, but we keep the chance of showers here. And then overnight... Yes, the yellow returns, so some more downpours to get through, especially here uh, north and west of Rhode Island. And then that threat shifts into eastern Massachusetts very early tomorrow morning from, say, New Bedford into the Cape with some showers lingering into Rhode Island. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we finally shove the green out of the way. Perhaps a little bit of sunshine late, but all in all, I think the clouds will tend to hang around. In terms of rainfall totals, most of us between about an inch and a half and two inches of rain. You can see the computer model pretty much agrees with me. I may want to bump a few of these uh, totals out here in eastern Massachusetts in the Cape up just a little bit to about an inch to an inch and a half. But overall, no major problems with flooding. Maybe some of our roads may start to pond as we go into the evening commute. That's pretty much it. All right, 55 in Westerly today, 54 in Narragansett, Jamestown at 54 degrees. And keep in mind, these temperatures will do sort of strange things. We'll sit in the low to mid-50s this afternoon, and then overnight our temperatures may actually spike in the upper 50s, the low 60s. 54 today in Swansea, 58 in Westport for this afternoon. Seekonk 55 degrees. We do have a wind advisory for the Cape. The rest of us will not see that advisory, but still a little breezy as we go into the evening with an occasional gust. Overnight, rain heavy at times. Temperatures 56 to 60, so you will not need that heat overnight. A nice uh, break from the heating bill. Tomorrow, chance of some showers early. Tomorrow afternoon, we push the showers away. And right now, I am keeping it dry but cool for the weekends. However, a storm will be lurking just offshore, so we will continue to watch that. And don't forget to set those clocks back Saturday night. And I know we lose the hour of daylight in the evening. However, for those of us that work the morning shifts, mm-hmm. we like the hour of sleep. I think most of us think that's worth it, right? right? You agree? Some agreement here? I would agree. I just try to convince my children that they get an extra hour of sleep. Because right. they'll just wake up when they usually do, and it'll be an hour earlier. Exactly. And they can take that extra hour and watch Cox Digital oh, Cable oh, Channel great. 125 just to tie that in there. All right. Thank you, Pete. Now. Yeah.